Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron, and we're going to revisit something we did a few videos ago where we said we have some social sharing icons, or it could be a menu or anything like that, and it's fixed to the left or the right hand side of your screen. And as you can see here, just there, we have some social icons fixed to the right hand side. And that's great for when you're scrolling up and down. So as I do here, look, they're always on the page. Great if you have a menu or something you want to keep fixed for the viewer to see all the time. But what if as we're looking here in this example, we've got the icons there, there, and we've got them right at the top of the page as well. And um, it kind of doesn't look very professional now, does it? So we've got them fixed there because obviously as we scroll, you know, we now don't really want to have both on the screen at the same time. Does, does that make sense what I'm trying to get across here? So how can we change it so that those icons that are visible here only appear after we have scrolled a certain amount of time on the screen? It's quite simple to do. However, there is a bit of CSS coding you are going to apply, but believe me, it is only about this much, roughly about roughly that much, okay? Not too much, not too bad. Okay, let's have a look at how we do it. So I'm not going to touch the header. Um, I, I, it was a sticky header, by the way, but I've undone that so that we can see it disappear and then we want this other one to appear. I've got to get my fingers right. There we go. Okay, right. So what we're going to do first thing is we are going to go to the section that basically contains our social sharing icons on the sidebar. So if I go to Navigator, it is this section here. Helps if you rename your sections, by the way. So really, I should have double clicked that and called it a um, social section, maybe, just so I know which one it is. I'm then going to staying in the section. So I'm not going into the column or the social icons. In the social section, you go to the advanced tab and you go to motion effects. OK, and inside motion effects, I'm going to say make it sticky. And I'm going to set the off the effects for the onset to be 100. OK, so all I've done is made it a sticky for the top. And I've then said the effect, the onset of that is 100 pixels, basically. Sometimes it's not always that accurate and you've got to play around with it, maybe 50 or 200. But you'll get the gist of that as you do this. So section, sticky top and effects onset 100. That is it. OK. Nothing more. We then go to the actual social social icons. So we're now back over here. And when we here go here, we go again to the advanced tab and we are going to give this a class. And I am going to call it. Uh, what about show socials? I had to double check that because I, I wrote the code, you see, so I've got to make sure I put the right word. So I'm going to call it show hyphen socials. Don't put any full stops in there. Make sure you make a note of what you've picked. OK, great. I'm then going to go down to motion effects. Now over here, I can, if I want, decide, well, how do I want it to appear? At the moment, it will just appear. I'd rather it came in gradually, so I'm going to say fade in from the right. So you can see it doing it there. So, what, so once we scroll down and it appears, it will fade in from the right. You can have it do other effects as well. You can have it come slower, faster, have a further delay. It's up to you, OK? What we then do is go to custom CSS down here. And if I just go over to text edit, here's the code we're going to put in. What this is saying at the start is show socials. So there's the class dot show, show socials display none. Therefore, do not display it. However, when we then move down using the sticky effect, which is why we've set this to be um, a top with an onset of um, 100, when you've done the 100 pixel scroll down, whatever, then the show socials, I do want to display it, OK? If you want to understand the code, go away and understand it. But that's basically in a gist. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And as soon as I've pasted that, it has disappeared on the right hand side there. Where are we? There we go. There we go. There, it's disappeared, OK? So there's the code. That's all we've done. And I'm going to click Update now. OK, so remember, in the section, all we did was go to motion effects, top, zero, effects onset, 100. And then in the social icons, we, we first gave it a name in the advanced tab, show socials, in the motion effects. Uh, sorry, I didn't actually set that 
I said set that to a top. You don't need to set that to a top. I've said fade in right, okay? Um, and then for the CSS code, I've then popped that code in there and I've refreshed it. So if we now go to preview changes, okay, as I scroll down, can we see that? Let's just move myself out of the way there a little bit. So as I scroll back up, disappears. You can put some further code in if you want for how it, you know, fades back out again. But I'm just going to keep this simple here. So we've got the icons right at the top. Brilliant. That's where they want to be. But as we scroll down and they've now gone out of view, eventually they now appear on the right hand side. And if I was to change the code to be, say, 300, so let's just see at what point it appears. So as I scroll down, it's about there. So just as I'm at the top of that image there, just about there, it just starts to appear. If I was to now go back into the page and I change the section to be, where are we, where are we, motion effects, let's change it to be, say, 400, and I hit update now, and we preview that page. Okay, so remember it was happening when we hit the top of there. So now I will, oops, I will now scroll, scroll, Ooh, don't drop my mouth, there we go. So now it's appearing almost on the second one, that's just how far down it is. So you have a bit of control at what point it appears, and it could well be that you have maybe another set of menus or another set of icons that are on the left-hand side of the page. Left-hand side that way, sorry. Left-hand side over there. And it, you might want them to appear at a certain point on the page. And it could even be an image. It could be a, literally a, another banner that appears across your page for whatever reason. I mean, why would you do that? Let's just say you did. But I just wanted to show you the simplicity of that. And as long as you have given your social sharing icon or whatever the widget is a class, remember, you must give it a class, okay? And then within your CSS code, just make sure, let's just put this one back up so you can see. As long as you put it in there, that is fine. And you could do another one. You know, um, you could, if like I said, so if you wanted to do another section on the left-hand side, I would say the best way to do it and this is just the way I do it, is I would create another section. So create another section so that now you are specif specifying that the onset is 400, put your widget in there, you know, and then it will appear as and when you want. So I hope that's made sense, because it was a question someone asked, how do I, you know, um, I've got this block here, but I don't want it to be there when I'm near the top. I want it to appear when I'm not near the top. This is how you could go about doing it. Hope you like that. Give us a like, subscribe, and I will see you soon, very, very soon.